Good evening, my dear friends. It brings me great joy to speak to you tonight about something both mysterious and magnificent, the silent life within you. Even as we sit here, each of us carries a universe of cells, each one a small miracle of nature. They are not passive. They listen. They react. They adapt. They remember the choices you make. And tonight I want you to remember something simple yet powerful. What you do before you sleep determines how your cells greet the morning. Every night your body enters one of its most sacred rituals, cellular repair. While you rest, your body is not idle. It becomes a quiet laboratory, a place of deep restoration. The processes that occur while you sleep are ancient, precise, and essential for your longevity. The Japanese call sleep nemuri, but I have always felt that it is more than that. It is the body's nightly renewal ceremony. Many people believe health is shaped by exercise or by the foods they eat, and indeed these are vital. But I have found through years of study and observation that the hours before rest are a hidden key to cellular rejuvenation. You see, our cells are like diligent workers who repair a great temple each night. But if we continue to give them heavy loads before they begin their work, they grow weary and the temple begins to crumble over time. So tonight I ask you to consider this. What if a simple nightly habit could awaken your cells, cleanse them, and prepare them for the miracle of self-renewal? What if the path to feeling younger did not begin in the morning, but rather in the quiet moments before you sleep? Let us explore this together. As scientists and as human beings, our cells communicate constantly. They send messages to one another through molecules and signals, a kind of biological language. When we eat, when we move, when we stress, when we rest, our cells interpret these messages. At night, the most important of these messages concerns one ancient process, autophagy. This word simply means self-eating. But it is not a destructive act. It is a deeply intelligent one. It is how your body clears away damaged components, recycling them into new ones. It is how the body preserves youth from within. When I first observed the mechanisms of autophagy, I felt both scientific excitement and philosophical awe. It was as though the body itself had a built-in wisdom, a form of self-discipline. Each cell knows when to destroy, when to renew, and when to rest. And this wisdom is most active when we give our bodies the gift of stillness, when we stop feeding, stop rushing, and prepare for rest. Yet in our modern world, many seniors lose this nightly harmony. The television glows late into the night. The stomach remains full. The mind turns over worries that cannot be solved before dawn. These disturbances confuse the body's rhythm. The message to the cells becomes mixed. And when the cellular language becomes unclear, repair slows down, inflammation rises, and fatigue takes hold. So, what should you do tonight before you sleep if you want your cells to thank you in the morning? The answer is surprisingly simple. Give them a chance to breathe. Give them silence. Give them fasting. Give them light movement. Give them calm. Let me explain this with science, but also with compassion. When you stop eating two or three hours before bedtime, you signal to your body that it is time to begin cleaning. The digestive system, like a hard-working craftsman, must complete its work before the repairmen, the cells, can begin theirs. If you eat late, your cells spend the night digesting instead of rejuvenating. But when you rest the stomach, autophagy awakens like a quiet tide, sweeping through your body removing what no longer serves you. This nightly fasting does not mean starvation. It means respect. It is a small daily act of cooperation between your will and your biology. And when done consistently, it tells your cells, now is the time to heal. Movement also plays a role, even at night. A brief stretch, a few deep breaths, or a gentle walk before sleep signals your muscles to relax and your circulation to balance. When blood moves freely, oxygen and nutrients reach your tissues efficiently. Think of it as tuning an instrument before a concert. Your cells are the musicians, and oxygen is the melody. Another important message for your cells is light. 
or rather the absence of it. Our ancestors lived in rhythm with the rising and setting of the sun. Their biology was shaped by darkness and light in perfect alternation. But now we live in homes that never truly sleep. Artificial light tells the brain it is still day. Melatonin, the hormone that governs sleep and cellular repair, becomes confused. To help your cells recover, dim the lights an hour before bed. Let darkness become your medicine. Breathing also plays a role. Deep, slow breathing activates the parasympathetic nervous system, the state of calm where healing begins. Shallow breathing, in contrast, signals danger, stress, and survival. Before bed, spend a few minutes simply breathing with awareness. Feel your abdomen rise and fall. Each slow breath is an instruction to your body. You are safe. Begin the repair. You see, these small actions, fasting, stretching, dimming, breathing, seem almost trivial. Yet they are not. They align with biology's ancient design. They restore harmony to your internal ecosystem. They reawaken the communication between mind, body, and cell. I often tell my students that the body is both a scientist and a philosopher. It experiments constantly, testing the boundaries of adaptation. It also contemplates in its own silent way, deciding what to keep and what to discard, what to grow and what to dissolve. When you provide your body with the right conditions at night, it naturally chooses renewal over decay. But let us go deeper. Why does this matter more as we age? Because the cellular machinery that once repaired you swiftly now slows. Autophagy, once vigorous, becomes hesitant. The signals that once guided cellular renewal become less clear. This is not failure. It is simply entropy, the gradual loss of order. Yet the beauty of the body lies in its ability to reverse this loss when given the right cues. Aging is not merely the passage of time. It is the accumulation of unrepaired mistakes. It is the residue of neglect, the waste that was not cleared, the proteins that misfolded and lingered too long. But each night, the body offers you a chance to begin again. Each night is a quiet invitation to restore balance. So when I tell you, do this tonight, I am not offering a ritual of superstition. I am inviting you to participate consciously in your own biology, to treat your nighttime hours as sacred as the most important medicine you can give yourself. Your cells are listening, and when you act with care, they respond. You may not feel it immediately, but the changes begin subtly. Clearer thoughts, steadier energy, deeper rest. The cells, grateful for your cooperation, begin to function as they were designed to, renewing, protecting, and sustaining your life. When the body begins to trust your rhythm again, you will notice it in the mornings. You will awaken not with heaviness, but with clarity, as if the fog inside has lifted slightly. The muscles will feel lighter, your thoughts steadier. This is not imagination. This is biology at work. It is your cells thanking you for the respect you showed them the night before. Our modern way of living often teaches us to demand more from the body while giving it less. We push through fatigue with caffeine, calm our nerves with screens, and reward ourselves with heavy late meals. Yet in doing so, we confuse the natural intelligence of our cells. The body does not require constant stimulation. It requires rhythm. It thrives on the alternation between activity and stillness, feeding and fasting, light and darkness. Every living system in nature follows these cycles. The ocean has its tides, the moon its phases, and the body its nightly descent into repair. To honor this is not a restriction. It is liberation. You free yourself from the noise of modern habit and return to a natural tempo. You create conditions where the invisible work of healing can unfold without interference. Some people believe aging is an enemy to fight, but I have always viewed it differently. Aging is a dialogue between time and biology, between what you have done and what you continue to do. It is not an irreversible decline, but rather a gradual negotiation between repair and damage. When the balance tilts toward damage, we feel old. 
when we help repair regain its strength, we feel renewed. The nightly rituals I have described are simply ways to help that negotiation favor youthfulness. You see, your cells do not measure age the way we do. They do not know the number of years you have lived. They only know the environment you create inside. They respond to chemistry, to signals, to light, to nutrients, and to rest. If you send them the right messages through your nightly choices, they behave as though they are young. It is not uncommon for older individuals who adopt evening discipline to feel, within weeks, a subtle transformation, not a miracle, but a shift. Sleep deepens. Digestion quiets. Morning stiffness fades. This is the work of autophagy restoring order, of inflammation retreating, of mitochondria, those tiny power plants of your cells, regaining strength. When the cell's energy factories are revived, the entire organism benefits. But there is one more aspect of this nightly renewal that is often overlooked, gratitude. Before you close your eyes, take a moment to reflect on the day without judgment. Simply acknowledge it, its joys, its imperfections, its lessons. This quiet mental act reduces the stress signals that interfere with cellular repair. Gratitude lowers cortisol, the hormone that keeps your body in a state of alertness. And when cortisol falls, melatonin rises, guiding you into deep restorative sleep. Science and serenity are not separate. They are companions. When the mind rests in calm appreciation, the body follows with biochemical harmony. You can think of gratitude as nourishment for your inner environment, just as food nourishes the outer one. In Japan, there is a saying, the body is the mirror of the heart. I often reflect on this during my research. When the heart is restless, the body cannot heal. When the heart is peaceful, even damaged cells begin to recover. There is an invisible bridge between emotional balance and cellular health. Every act of kindness, every quiet breath, every moment of self-respect sends a molecular echo throughout your tissues. You are never separate from your biology. And so, I return again to that question. What should you do tonight? You should treat the night not as an absence of day, but as its sacred complement. Dim the lights, silence the noise, allow your last meal to rest in your stomach long before you rest in your bed. Breathe deeply, stretch gently, reflect with gratitude. Let your body know that it is safe to begin its nightly miracle. When you follow this simple discipline, something remarkable begins to happen, not only physically, but mentally. The mind becomes sharper in the morning because the night was clean. The emotions settle because the cells have been renewed. You begin to feel a quiet joy that comes from being in harmony with your own nature. Many seniors ask me, is it too late to change? My answer is always the same, no. The body is always listening, always ready to adapt. Even at 70 or 80, your cells retain the memory of youth. They simply wait for the right instructions. The moment you provide them, through rest, rhythm, and care, they respond. I have seen this again and again. People who could not sleep begin to rest deeply. Those who woke in pain begin to rise with ease. The difference is not magic, it is cooperation. I find beauty in this. The realization that even the smallest act, done with understanding, can awaken dormant vitality. A warm bath to relax blood vessels, a quiet room to calm the nervous system, a mindful pause before bed. These are not luxuries but tools for cellular balance. In each of them, your body finds the message, I am ready to renew. We often seek complex solutions to simple biological truths. But longevity is not achieved through force. It is maintained through alignment. Your body is not a machine to be repaired. It is a garden to be tended. Each night is the watering of that garden. And when you sleep, the seeds of health grow unseen, preparing the blossoms of tomorrow's vitality. Sometimes I stand before a microscope and watch a cell digest its waste and form something new. It reminds me that life's intelligence lies in transformation. The old becomes the foundation for the new. 
The same principle applies to you. The fatigue, the stiffness, the dullness you feel, they are not permanent. They are simply signs that your body has been waiting for your cooperation. So when you lie down tonight, remember, the night is not the end of the day. It is the beginning of healing. Your cells are waiting to thank you. They will not use words. They will use energy, clarity, vitality. You will feel it in the way your body moves and the way your mind awakens to the morning light. Imagine your body as a great orchestra. Each cell is an instrument, each organ a section, and your nightly routine the conductor's baton. When you bring order and rhythm, the music of life flows with grace. But when you neglect the pauses, when you forget to rest, to breathe, to fast, the melody becomes discordant. Tonight, you have the power to restore harmony. In my years of studying cellular self-renewal, I have come to see it not just as biology, but as philosophy. The cell's ability to recycle, to let go of what is damaged and rebuild from within, is a metaphor for human resilience. We, too, must learn to release what no longer serves us, not only in our bodies, but in our minds. When you do, both the cell and the soul become lighter. And perhaps that is the secret to longevity, not merely the length of years, but the quality of awareness you bring to each day and each night. When you understand that health is not something to chase, but something to cultivate, you move differently through the world. You live with gentleness, and your body responds with gratitude. So tonight, do not see rest as a break from living. See it as the continuation of life's deepest intelligence. Prepare for it as you would a sacred ceremony. Offer your body calmness, emptiness, and trust. In return, your cells will awaken with renewed strength and whisper their silent gratitude as the morning light touches your skin. The science of life and the art of living are not separate paths. They are one. Each night, you have a chance to rediscover that unity. So, seniors, do this tonight. Give your body the stillness it craves, and in the morning, it will return your kindness a hundredfold. Your cells are waiting to thank you.